Hi everyone, this is Amina with another video in the Wise Wednesday series. This week I want to talk to you about three tips to win the numbers game when you're searching for a job or if you're searching for anything in life. Um, so I spoke about an example where I was looking for a job and even though I've been quite fortunate in uh, getting the jobs that I wanted in my, in my career, there was a bottleneck at the beginning um, when I was looking for my second doctor job where I was going for interview after interview and getting rejected. And it was tough because I could see all my friends and people in my cohort just getting ahead and getting the jobs and moving forward. Um, and so you could say that it was a numbers game and that just because I kept going to one interview after another, I eventually found the right job and I did find a great job. I found my dream job for me at the time, which was to spend a year in London and a year in Geneva in Switzerland and prepare for my professional exams, which would then set me up to do public health, which is what I wanted to do and specialize in to then work on global health. Um, but I don't think it was just a numbers game. I think it was to do with how I developed as a person as I went through the process. As I kept going to the interviews, I kept integrating information and I kept growing uh, in an, into a new identity. And the identity I went from was the insecure medical student who was trying just to give the right answers to an emerging leader who was confident, who wanted to do big things in life and was on her way uh, to, to doing those things. Uh, and I learned to talk in a different way and behave in a different way. And that is what I believe made the difference eventually. Of course, I had to keep going to interviews. And I um, I remember the day I received um, an invitation to the interview that led me to my dream job. I just knew that there was something special about this one. Um, and it was probably because I was ready for it. So three tips to help you as you go through a process, whether it's job interviews or something else in life that involves going through um, something, a process over and over again. Uh, and these will hopefully help you not just keep going through the motions, but make the most of the fact that you're going through this process to maximize your chances and enable you to get to the dream thing that you want, but also just really embrace the process and just feel really alive as you're going through it. So number one, to win the numbers game, meditate, meditate, meditate. Now, I know a lot of you out there are thinking, oh God, not meditation, I've tried before and I, I, just, I can't even sit down to meditate. What are you talking about? It's never gonna work. Um, so I encourage you to keep trying because if you have resistance to sitting down and being still, that is already meditation because you've noticed something happening inside you. Uh, and meditation isn't some kind of spiritual thing that's a mysterious process and suddenly you become enlightened and you never have any problems. No, uh, meditation is a, uh, an exercise in which you relax your habitual fixed thinking. You're loosening your rational analytical mind and, and allowing your more subconscious thinking to, to, um, to happen and not reacting to whatever comes up. So if there's a thought that comes up that says, oh my God, I have no time, you don't just suddenly reach out for your whatever, your phone and start emailing people. You notice that thing that's coming up, that discomfort or thought, and then you stay, you breathe, you stay with it. And, and then that starts to relax your whole nervous system. And the important thing about that is that you're, you're sort of resetting your brain uh, to allow for new new possibilities to emerge. You're saying, it's okay, I'm not, I'm not in a survival situation, I'm not threatened by a tiger right now, I can relax, and I can think about new possibilities, new job, new situation, and who I might be, how I might think, feel, behave, to match up to that situation. And that can only happen if you relax your habitual thinking. Because your habitual thinking is matched up for where you are right now. It's not matched up for the future. So relaxing through meditation, loosening your fixed thinking or your habitual thinking allows for your creative mind to do its magic. And, and it, um, 
By practicing, then you're habituating your mind to that new future and that new way of being. So meditation is super exciting. I highly recommend it. Try different techniques, whatever you want. Eventually, you can use it as a really powerful tool in your life, in, in your everyday practical life. Okay, so that's number one tip for winning the numbers game and enjoying it. Number two is pay attention. So if you're doing that kind of meditation process every day on a regular basis, you will start to notice different things because you're allowing new possibilities to emerge and allowing them to trickle through your nervous system and your body. And um, you're going to make different micro decisions. Your, your brain, the part of the brain, the reticular activating system that um, directs your focus is going to start paying attention to different things that are aligned with the thing that you want. So you might start um, you know, getting um, invited to different things that you hadn't been invited to before. And maybe in the past you would have completely dismissed it, but now you notice it because it's somehow relevant to the thing you want to do. Um, and I give another story, a strange story that happened to me about that, which you may want to read it in the um, blog on www.drmina.com. Um, so pay attention. Again, this is allowing room for new things to emerge. You're not just in your habitual thinking and just behaving. You're allowing, you're, you're allowing a bit of your attention span to pay attention to different things that are more matched up with the new job or whatever it is that you want. So yeah, pay attention. So um, number one was meditate. Number two is pay attention. And number three, to win the numbers game, is to experiment, um, refine and celebrate. Experiment, refine and celebrate. So you cannot go from one space, one situation to another situation without some messiness in the middle. The space between story, the dark cave of change, which I made a video on a few weeks ago and you might want to have a look at. So you're going to have to be in the messy middle. And that messy middle is where you experiment. You try and speak to different people. You try and apply for different jobs. You try and go to different types of networking events. Or you um, read different things. Um, essentially, you're, you're testing. You're testing your new ways of being, thinking, behaving. Um, until something, again, matches up to the thing that you want. And as you test, you need to integrate the information that comes back. And very important, you need to celebrate. Not the wins, you need to celebrate the failures or what you think of as a failure. Because the failures are a sign that you are stepping out of your comfort zone and you are moving into something new and different. If you're succeeding at everything, you're just in your comfort zone. You're not really creating... Uh, what some people call an exponential life. You're not getting yourself on another trajectory that is right for you and makes your life really alive. You're, you're just on a sort of linear path that's dictated by your past identity and trajectory. So celebrate your failures. Um, yeah, there's a whole cultural shift that needs to happen around failure. Um, but in the meantime, just celebrate, just celebrate yourself and with people that you care about or, or uh, trust. So those were the three tips. If you want to change something in your life, get a new job, get a new career, then you need to play the numbers game, which is essentially taking action and repeating. Um, but don't just repeat the instances or repeat the process mindlessly. Be mindful and meditate, pay attention to changes and new things, and experiment, refine, and celebrate. I hope that helps you. Uh, please leave any comments or email me with any questions about it, and I look forward to speaking to you soon. Have a great week. Bye-bye.